Uh, 68 Whiskey is it's about a group of combat medics in Afghanistan present day. Uh, 68 Whiskey is a military op occupational specialty. That's what that term means. And basically what they do is they go out into the field and patch people up to the point where they can get them back to the hospital for real surgery or back to another base for even more surgery if need be. If need be. I play Colonel Harlan Austin, my name's Lamont Thompson, and I run the base. If there's a human being there, they answer to me, period. <laughs> I'm the guy. <laughs> uh, and I basically have about 2,000 children this <laughs> uh, that, that vary in terms of temperament and all of that. Uh, the way I like to look at it is Durkin is the daughter that I think has it all together. Christina here, her character is the daughter that always needs $100 <laughs> for something. And uh, Sam here plays Roback, who's the kid from down the street I want to choke to death every other day. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what's happened. Uh, I'm, my character is Rosa Alvarez, and she's a Mexican who came to this country for a better life with her family when she was very young. And a way to become a citizen, she gets into the army, then her family's being deported, and she's being deported as well. And then things happen with this guy. But, I mean, I think when he meant, when I always need a hundred dollars, is like she, she needs a favor. She needs a bunch of favors because she's going through a lot of stuff back home. And so, yeah, I think that's what you meant. I mean, not yeah. a special, like, not, mon not money, but yeah, she needs, she needs people to support her, to find a way for her to stay, to find a way for her to help her family come back to the States because they don't have a home in Mexico. Her home is the United States of America, so, um, so yeah. I play Cooper Roback, and Cooper is this uh, kid from California in a place called Hemet, California, and he comes from not the best upbringing in the world, and I think because of that he's decided to run in the opposite direction of whatever he knows, and he, I think he's trying to be the man that he needed in his life in many ways. And that's why he's a medic, and that's why he cares for his immediate family that are in the army now at this point. We're family. Yeah. And I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but he, he does a really nice thing for me so I can stay in the country. So Mikai Davis is one of the combat medics, 68 Whiskey. He and Roback are really good friends. They kind of do everything together. The dynamic duo that you might expect with most friendships. And so you see a lot of what they're doing is to, of course, deal with the missions that they're assigned to go on. But aside from that, they have personal missions that they're trying to take care of. Specifically for Makai, he has a family who needs financial resources. And so he's doing everything that he can outside of his purview as a staff sergeant to try to get funds. Some of it legal, some of it not so legal. And all of that you're going to see play out and you're going to see the consequences and the effects of his decisions. So my character is, um, she works for Colonel Austin, so she has access to a lot of the information at the orphanage that a lot of regular people walking around the base would not have access to. So she has a lot of things that a lot of people need and she charges accordingly. Um, and also she's kind of the tie between a lot of different uh, areas. She's the tie between the medics and the tie between what's going on with Colonel Austin and a little bit of like the overview kind of. It's really wonderful and then she gets to explore what it's like to have a relationship in the army and what it's like to not have any privacy and what it's like to not have any female bonds. It's really just a whole lot of lacking in Durkin's life and it's trying to find what it is that gives her that um, that fulfillment. I play the character uh, Anthony Petricelli and he's basically the little kid on the base. Uh, he's True. 17, he's just a teenager who's basically been thrown into the middle of a, a war zone, which is not your kind of typical day for a teenager. So he's gullible, he tries to stick by the rules, and I guess throughout the show he learns that you, you can't necessarily, well, if you stick to the rules, you're not gonna make friends and you're not gonna get chances to get outside the wire. So Petrocelli slowly learns what you should and shouldn't do on the base. And uh, he's great. He's a good kid. He's got a good heart. Yeah, I play Sasquatch. Um, I'm an ex-Special Forces government contracted mercenary, basically. 
Um, I'm one of the main antagonists of the show. I work for this company that's constant, their, their morals are constantly questioned, even though uh, Sasquatch doesn't really have a, a, that much of a dark side. You kind of question whether he's good or bad. He's willing to do whatever he can for his relationship with Durkin. And um, you'll kind of, he, he kind of discovers that, uh, that she doesn't have the same feelings for him as he does uh, towards the middle of the series. <laughs> Is that the right way to say it? I don't know. <laughs> she, she's not as, as invested in, with him as he is, I guess. So, yeah, that's, that's Sasquatch. Okay. <laughs> Get the short end a little bit. You guys laughing at me. That's good. That's good. <laughs>